Ready? Say, welcome to the Dome Home! Welcome to the Dome Home! Woohoo! The Loro Domain! Dome Life! Here we go! Alright, here we are. 19005 Canyon Summit. This is the first condo that Scott and I purchased right after we got married five years ago. Let's see, we're is in April of 2015. We're April 2020 now. It was a perfect first little condo. Here's a balcony. We'll go inside. So, hey. there's Daddy. Time to break out of jail. There's Rocky and there's Scotty. Come here, Scotty. So back in 2005, 2015, sorry, um, we purchased this place for $320,000. We did quite a bit of work. Uh, as you can see, we did the fireplace, we did the wood on the side walls, we did the whole um, the lighting right there, the mantle we went and bought in Big Bear. It's a two bedroom, little condo. Be, it's like around 1,100 square feet. Here's the master. We did all the tile floors in here. I don't mind I didn't make the bed today. Coming into the master bathroom. We went we tore all of this out here and put in a nice new other mantle. And this, Daddy did. So we have, we tore out the whole shower. We built in a walk-in tile shower here. We have wood mantle going on, or wood wall there. So this is a dual shower here. You can turn it on. You can have it coming out of here. Or we have a rain shower coming out of there. So you can see Daddy did all of that. Coming in here is the master, about out to the living room. So here we are in our kitchen. This is all original. We replaced obviously everything, the fridge, the oven, the microwave. We repainted it all to white. It had like this old wood trim. So that was all redone actually just recently. Our little kitchen area, dinette area. Walk over here. Here's Scotty's room. There's a nice, big, perfect first room for a little man here. And then there's uh, the second bath, which is Scotty's bath here. And his bath in there. So we didn't redo this because uh, we knew we were having Scotty. And uh, we didn't want to redo it until he was older. And then here's our loft. This is one nice unique thing about this condo is that majority of these lofts are open and they actually come open, but the previous owners actually enclosed it right here. So normally this whole wall right here is open looking down into the living room, but they enclosed it. We redid the tile or wood. Um, we actually, I should have videotaped it before. I can see if I can find some old pictures. But we had this painted as an angel's baseball room. So the walls were dark red and dark blue. And then we had a huge angel's stadium picture right there. But when we were planning on selling it, we repainted it all so it looks nicer and more open and bright. So we are in April 20. 20 right in the middle one, of the coronavirus pandemic right now it is insane everything's shut down everyone has to work from home schools from home um you can't go anywhere without masks or gloves on so we <laughs> listed this place right in the middle of all that but we weren't too worried and within five days of listing it we received two offers on the same day so it was it was perfect timing, I guess. Um, two offers, they bidded, outbid each other. So we got what we originally wanted, which is around four, 419. Mm -hmm. So 
bought for 320 selling for right around 420 so perfect um but yeah we're about to pack up and say bye to our first condo here and go to our next home we'll see you all right here's the day Movers are here two trucks Are you ready, buddy? Ready to move? Here comes the Packers. They're here. They're going to move all our stuff out. They're going to bring it all into the truck. We're all pretty much packed up for them in here. Boxes galore. This is it. We're out of here. Place is empty. Got a little bit of a uh, food fridge. But we are out. Scotty, are we out? Where are we going next? We're going to the dome home. <laughs> We're going to be living the dome life. We're going to be living the hotel life for. About the next, there's mommy. Someone's sad to leave. She's not happy about dome life. Somebody needs to get in the happy spirits. Somebody lost her phone. Scotty, do you think my phone? Rock, what do you think? What do you think, big guy? I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sounds like, nope, a uh, moving truck was moving, but that's just Amazon. Bye-bye, home. Say bye-bye, old home. Check out this beautiful sunset. We did a thing. We left Orange County. Who would have thought? And we bought a dome home. That's right. Welcome to the Loro's Dome Home. We sold our little condo in Orange County. Came out here to Aguanga, California in Lake Riverside Estates. Found our dream home. Yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, but that's perfect because we can make it ours. These two are absolutely loving it. What are you saying? 
Am I crazy? Yeah, you are crazy. I'm leaving. Where are you leaving to? We're on two and a half acres here. Or, or. So here it is. The Loro Dom home. The guy and the guy and lady, John Susie's their name, we bought it from. They actually built this house fifteen years ago with their own hands. And now it's just time for them to move on and go live with family. And now we are taking coming in and take it over. As you can see there's a lot of unfinished projects here. Spiral staircase, which that's the first project. We need to get this down to build an actual staircase for Scotty and Rocky. But we just have Dome Home up there. Scott calls it the bird's nest. 360 degree view out and around. I'll show that later. There's the bathroom, downstairs bathroom in here. All built out of rock, pretty cool. Scott's in there right now, tearing up the floor. And there he is. Here he comes. Ripping all up. The construction begins. This little nook area right here. So here's the kitchen. We'll, uh, we're going to start doing videos on all the projects that we do here. We have a lot of plans that we want to do to this dome home. It's pretty cool. Here's the pantry. Walk-in pantry area. Here is the washer and dryer area. And this is the downstairs bedroom that Scotty is currently tearing up. Alright, now walking through the other side of the hallway. Go really quick upstairs, up the spiral staircase. Do, 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 do. Up, up, up. There's two bedrooms up here. There's this little nook area right here. Obviously, I have a lot of boxes still. Here's one bedroom. This is Scotty's bedroom. Nice window with the view. Beautiful out there. And then going back over to this side is the master. There's also this other little nook area, which, because there's a master bedroom right there, and then you walk over to the master bathroom. And I think this was supposed to be a walk-in closet, which we're going to make one. Here's the, don't mind the mess again. Two windows in the master out here. Beautiful views, nights are quiet, nights are dark. Back over into here, here's the master. Double sinks, these are hers. And then this is the walk-in shower cave. There's two showers, shower on this side, and then a shower on this side. We have a party in the shower, it's so big. All right, next, let's show you the top. So to get to the top, so we're on the second floor right now. You look up right here, it's like a little pull down, like uh, for an addict. Attic. Pull this sucker down. So we go. Let's take you upstairs. So there's two lofts. This is the first one, which this one is unfinished, which scares me because as you can see, you can walk right over here to the edge and look all the way down. I don't like Scotty coming up here until daddy fixes that. Then we walk up to this next little ladder. Up, up, up. And now we're in what we call 
the bird's nest. The very top. 360 degrees view. Not degrees. 360 degree view. Awesome. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We can watch pretty sunsets over this way with a beautiful mountain. We can walk over here and watch the sun rise with the valley. Can't beat it. All right, so stay tuned. We have a lot of projects that we're going to be doing. So we will be recording all of them. Some will probably be quick couple minute videos of something that we do. Others may take longer. I know the top of our list is to get our property fenced in out here and also to get a garage set up. So here we are. Stay tuned for the Low Road Domain Projects.